Hey there, Ride the Car Guy here, and today, let's freshen up these rims. It has been far too long since the Xterra has been in the garage, but it's finally back after the Titan job was complete, and uh, now I wanna have a little bit of fun with this guy. Now, I know it's kinda become this sort of running joke that I'm eventually gonna get new tires for the Xterra, and I really am, but I'm kinda having this snowball effect issue going on. Uh, if I get new tires, I want them to be bigger, so I would need to get new rims, and uh, it just becomes you know, a big thing. And now it's gonna be about easily two grand to do that package. But in the meantime, we can do something different. We can change the color, freshen them up, and kind of tide us over till we get those new rims and tires. Now here's what we're going with. I picked out Dupla color wheel paint, and we're gonna go with bronze. I think it's gonna look really, really cool with the color of the Xterra. It'll set it off nicely and kind of give it a nice fresh look. I went with five cans. We have one can per wheel and an extra just in case. I also bought a couple cans of primer and I bought a wax and tar remover uh, to get everything you know, as clean as we possibly can. Also picked up some 600 grit sandpaper and a couple packs of index cards. We're gonna use the index card method to mask it off. Oh, I forgot. I'm also gonna grab the super clean wheel cleaner. We're gonna use that to get the initial clean done. Um, I think all in, I'm under 100 bucks, but I'll put the number right here. But I think it's gonna be a pretty inexpensive way to dramatically change the look of the X. Now I'm feeling pretty lazy, so I'm just gonna do one side at a time. I don't wanna get this, uh, you know, all four corners up on jack stands. So I'm just gonna pull up the driver's side, pull the two off, do two, put them back on, and then of course repeat on the other side. Let's pull off these tires. Excellent, let's bring them outside and uh, spray them down. Right off the bat, I'm gonna pop the center emblem out. Uh, I just have a little wooden stake here that I'm gonna use to push out. There you go, perfect. And we might, you know, we'll figure something out with these. I might try to mask these or something. Oh, I may be able to pull the emblem out, that would be cool. That way we can paint the background and leave the, uh, leave the emblem, of course. All right, Super Clean says to rinse these both with cold water and then spray them down and then spray them down again after 30 seconds and they should be clean. It says for extremely dirty wheels to uh, agitate with a brush, which we'll probably end up doing on the, uh, well, on the back because it looks like I have a sponge I keep specifically for wheels and, oh, oh wow. So I'm just gonna clean it with that. Just go around and wipe everything up. When you're cleaning these, always rotate them too because there's always like little uh, cracks that you tend to miss or little crevices. Yeah, like all this. Well, hot damn, if I knew they could look this good, maybe I wouldn't be painting them, but uh, <laughs> We've already come this far, so let's keep going. One more rinse, and then I'm going to uh, bring them back inside because it's starting to rain out here. Well, gosh, who would have thought that, you know, vigorously cleaning these rims would make them look so good? Certainly not me. The inside, I think we're going to consider a loss. It is, uh, it's beyond my willingness to fix. So what I'm going to do, like you'll see here, this is all like pitting and it's all kind of messed up. So I'm actually gonna leave this and I'm gonna mask it off. You can't see it most of the time anyways. You have to like really get down here and look closely to kind of see through these little holes. And uh, what you can see will be this sort of light silver color, which I think will actually complement the bronze. So we'll just call it like a two-tone. I'll just mask this off when we're ready to paint and just leave the inside alone. I'm gonna go grab some compressed air to sort of uh, accelerate our drying process. And then uh, we're gonna move to the next step. Next up, I'm grabbing my wax and tar remover. And so I'm really just doing this to make sure that when we go and do our sanding, which is our next step, that we, don't, uh, that we just don't have any leftover grime that's just gonna muddy up the sandpaper. And then we'll go ahead and do it right afterwards as well to get up that grit and clean it off afterward. Hopefully this is tire safe. Cause I'm definitely hitting the tire a lot. <laughs> oh, also, should I be breathing this in. It says it'll give you cancer, but what doesn't nowadays? Yeah, look how much it's still bringing up, which is kind of nice. All right, that's looking great. So I'm gonna grab some 600 grit sandpaper, and we're gonna go around and just give this a nice key. So obviously the, 
paint will stick better, right? So we're gonna do a little bit of primer and then throw on some light coats of the paint and uh, kind of build it up as we go. Now I'm using a 3M 600 grit sandpaper. And again, I just wanna smooth out the surface. If you look right here, you'll see um, there's some of the finishes worn off. It's just kind of gotten a little weird, but uh, you don't wanna use anything too low or else you're just gonna create scratches in the surface that you have to build up primer to kind of smooth out. And this is also your opportunity where if you did have any road rash, I luckily don't have any on any of my rims, but if you did, you could go with a heavier sandpaper, try to smooth it out as much as you can, and then go over top with your higher grit, just to kind of minimize the look of it when you do end up repainting it. That way when it's finished, you don't, you're not just painting over a big old scar. So I'm gonna grab some uh, protection for my lungs, and I'm gonna get to sanding. All right, everything has like a bit of a matte finish here. It's looking pretty good. Next, I'm gonna grab the wax and tar remover again, go back over it, get all of the grit and everything up that we uh, sanded down, and then we're gonna go primer this sucker. All right, once I went through and I used the wax and grease remover again, made sure they were nice and clean and dry, I went in and I actually masked the back of the rim, and I did that just with some blue painter's tape, running it around the edge that I don't want painted, and then I just took some extra uh, packing material that I had lying around and use that to fill in the rest of the rim. So now we're gonna grab our primer, obviously some lung protection, and then I'm gonna grab some index cards. And we're gonna use index cards to create a clean edge all the way around the rim. And then of course I'm gonna mask the outside as well, probably with more of this paper to uh, you know make sure it doesn't get any paint on the tire. So we just grab these, you slide them in between the tire and the rim go and you do that all the way around to create a nice clean edge make sure they're overlapping I'm using standard index cards uh, I can already tell you you should buy heavy-duty index cards because these are just very easily bending and they're actually pretty annoying to use there we go creates a nice even edge very quickly just find any spots like that when I got to push the card down a little bit further but other than that you're good and then I'm just gonna create something to go on the tire and then we're ready to spray. All right, it's ugly, but I think it's gonna work. Grabbing more of that packing material that I had and just sort of taping it up a little bit around the edge. Again, this is just for overspray. We really shouldn't be getting a ton of paint over top of these uh, index cards, but just wanna be safe. You know, I gotta protect my $400 Chinese tires. Grab your paint can, shake it up. Let's get some primer on this. All right, this is looking good. I'm going to let it sit. I did three coats, uh, 10 minutes in between each coat. First two are light, last one's medium. And then uh, I actually popped the Nissan symbol off of uh, the center cap and painted that as well. So that's gonna look nice, be matching. And then I'll probably just like polish up that Nissan symbol as much as I can. It's, it's, pla it's chrome plastic or whatever, but uh, you know, that's all right. What I'll probably end up doing, since this laid down a bit of a texture, I'm going to uh, very lightly sand it before we go on to the paint step, but wait 30 minutes after all the primer's done, then I'll do a light sand, clean it up again, and we'll hit it with the color. Alrighty, looking good now. So go grab the paint and just follow the directions on the can. It says three light coats and then one medium with 10 minutes in between each one. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Wait seven days for paint to cure. All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna wait 10 minutes, do it again, and then again, and then again. All right, so I moved over uh, to where there's a little more shade, and I ended up doing, uh, I think, eight coats, so, uh, the can 
seems to last forever, which is fantastic. You get a lot for your money. And I uh, budgeted for one can per rim. So uh, one can looks like it'll absolutely do it. Uh, I'm gonna let this sit for, I think it said another half an hour to an hour, doesn't matter. Probably just leave it a couple hours. It's so hot out here, I'll just go take a break. And then uh, we should be good to reinstall these onto the Xterra. All right, uh, <laughs> it's dried for a little bit. And I gotta say, I absolutely love these. Now, obviously, if you get close to them, you're gonna see that these are rattle can rims, right? That's, you know, you just kind of have to know that going into it. You're not gonna get a, you know, Robbie Layton Nation finish on it, but uh, it is just, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. It's a dramatic improvement to what the rims were. They were kind of dirty and dingy. And when you look behind here, you can still see the old rim back there. That's fine, especially once you get it back on the, uh, on the X and it's all dark back there, you'll barely notice it. But uh, I gotta let this sit a little longer. I'm gonna let it sit probably another hour or two before I go to install it. Cause you know, if you accidentally touch it, you'll end up uh, peeling that paint off. So uh, wait another hour or two, get it back on the X and then we'll take a look and see how they look actually on the vehicle. Before we take a look here, I wanna remind you that I have a second channel. So we do car reviews over there. We do tool reviews. Me and my buddy even revived an old field truck that he had lying around. So stuff like that interests you, go ahead, swing over there in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Give me a subscribe. Hoping to get to 1,000 subscribers here pretty soon. Just doing some different stuff, not, uh, not DIYs all the time. So if you're interested in that, please, uh, please head over there. Oh, I love the way these turned out. I'm pumped. My inspiration for these were the new rims that All Dogs Off Road released, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago and I absolutely love them and I do plan on buying those and upgrading to a bigger size and getting new tires, but in the meantime, this is gonna have to tide me over. If you like this video, please, please scroll down and click that like button. Make sure that you subscribe for more content like this and go check out my second channel, RTCG2, or Ride the Car Guy 2, and uh, like and subscribe over there. If this video saved you some time or money, you can say thanks by buying me a beer. Scroll down, click that thanks button to do that. Appreciate you watching and see you in the next one.